Not everything is always what it seems like. Some of your favorite actors might play the roles of absolute angels, but can be super rude in real life. The best example of this is Lee So Won, who you would never have believed to be problematic in real life judging from his roles. In Uncontrollably Fond, he played the role of a little brother, and in Hospital Ship, he was even a doctor. None of these roles have a bad reputation, but in real life, So Won isn't so nice at all. In 2018, he was accused of harassing a female celebrity he was drinking with, after she rejected physical contact with him. It was reported that he got angry with her and even threatened her with a weapon. The police got involved and stated that he was being aggressive towards them as well. After this incident, his agency apologized for his behavior, but it was already too late because an investigation was started. Solon's career pretty much went down the drain after that. During his first trial, he pleaded guilty since there was no point in denying that the incident happened after the authorities found his DNA. His attorney stated that he was too drunk to remember any of it though. Admitting to such serious allegations is definitely not a good look, so the chances of him ever returning to the industry are probably non-existent. Another actor who stirred up a lot of controversy with his real-life personality is Nam Joo Hyuk, who on screen truly appears to be a sweetheart. Everyone fell in love with him in 2521, only to be majorly disappointed by his scandals. He was still experiencing all the highs of the drama when he was publicly accused of having mistreated his classmates in the past. In 2022, the alleged victim shared that Joo Hyuk was notorious for being a horrible student that pestered his classmates for six years. Reportedly, he was a part of a clique that would harm students physically, take their money, and cuss them out. Allegedly, it got so out of hand that the victims still suffer from the experience and avoid watching TV out of fear of seeing Joo Hyuk. The anonymous tipper added pictures from their yearbook as a way to back up their statements. Then, two more alleged victims came forward about their experiences, claiming similar things. The last person accused Joo Hyuk of bothering her and making inappropriate comments about her through a Kakao Talk group chat. It turns out that it was actually partially true, but that it had already been resolved in the past. According to Joo Hyuk's agency, he and his friends had apologized to her for their behavior, but it seems like that wasn't enough. Although all of this was in the past, some of Joo Hyuk's former colleagues also said a thing or two about his behavior over the years. Jung ki shared that they used to work together under the same agency, so obviously their paths crossed a few times. But over the years, they kind of lost contact. ki said, he became popular after a year or so in the industry. Afterwards, he changed and became less approachable. Others claim that he's actually a really nice guy, so it might just depend on personal experience after all. There seems to be a trend in starring in 2521 and being disliked by the public for your personality. Kim Tae-ri, who plays the female lead in the drama, was accused of being very different from her character in real life. Her character, Na Hee-do, is known for her innocence, big heart, and determination. Tae-ri allegedly doesn't share all those qualities because because she's actually considered to be one of the rudest actresses in the industry, according to the press. She was voted the second actress to have the worst personality in 2022 as a result of her bad manners during interviews. It was said that the only character traits that she shares with Hido are her carefreeness and occasional immaturity, but that she displays these traits at the worst possible moments. Allegedly, she inappropriately scribbled on papers during an interview and even gave a director that debuted overseas a lot of criticism. You can imagine that this type of behavior doesn't sit well with the general public. Your roles can also make people believe that you're a horrible person when it's actually the other way around, and Liam ji from The Glory is living proof of that. Her heartless portrayal of Park Yong jin convinced people that she was just as cunning in real life, but they were very wrong. Although it was the first time that she played the role of an antagonist, we saw how well she was able to turn into the most loathsome character that you've ever seen. In fact, she was so good at it that she got calls from people asking her if she actually mistreated her classmates in real life because it just seemed a little too well done. In an interview, she shared that these were calls from people that she actually went to school with back in the day. Of course, she had to clear the air and said, I was a pure and normal student. I don't have a significant memory of my school days. I dreamed of becoming an actress since I was young. Playing Yeonjin was very stressful for Dion because she had to stay angry all day to the point that it even clashed with her real life personality. Jokingly, she said that she would play a cheerful character next. Her plan was to portray her character in a way that would make the whole world hate her, and in a way, she achieved her goal. But of course, in real life, she's nothing like her character. She's great friends with everyone she met on the set of The Glory, and her on-screen enemy, played by Lee Do-hyun, is actually even her real-life lover. Jion seems to be a laid-back person, who also is a proud cat mom, by the way. Next up is Lee Soo Hyuk, who has played a lot of antagonist roles over the years, creating this mysterious, cold image for himself. His characters in Tomorrow and The Vampire 
Vampire Who Walks the Night are pretty good examples of that. After playing quite a few of these roles, people started to believe that he's equally cold in real life, which is actually the farthest from the truth. Two years ago, Soo Hyuk spoke up about this in an interview. He acknowledged that people have a tendency to associate cold-heartedness with him because of the roles that he plays, but that in real life, he's actually not like that at all. He shared, I'm not really a serious, cold, and cool type. I'm just a man who likes watching films and hanging out with his friends. He added that he's actually not a fan of tense atmospheres at all and would always prefer everyone to be in a lighter mood. He expressed that he hopes people around him see him as a bright and optimistic person who never fails to bring a refreshing mood to the room. Even with his characters, he tries to take a more relaxed approach to show fans that he can be a little bit more diverse. Soo Hyuk said that to get away from the stereotype that he's created for himself, he wants to play a funny character to make viewers more comfortable with his relaxed side. He also expressed his desire to appear on variety shows more often to give people a glimpse of what he's like in real life and to show that it's the complete opposite of what they think. Kim tae hook is another one of those actors that seems super distant and cold due to his sharp looks and choice of roles. He has always played some very questionable characters who aren't exactly supposed to be the most angelic people on earth. In his latest drama, Crazy Love, he plays the role of a narcissistic CEO. In real life, he seems to be the opposite of that. Because he often plays these pretty heartless characters, he's seen as serious and unapproachable. However, it turns out that he's not that distant at all. Over the years, we've gotten glimpses of his real personality, and it looks like he's quite the clumsy type. One thing to know about Daewook is that the man can't handle liquor to save his life. Reportedly, he got drunk from two glasses of beer and had to be carried away by his manager. If it's not his manager doing the carrying, it's the job of his friends after a night out. Not only does he know how to have a good time, he also seems to be super friendly on set. No matter the age difference, he makes sure everyone is comfortable. In an interview, he shared that although he may seem like a cold person, he's actually just a regular guy. He shared that he has a very big soft spot for pets, which is absolutely adorable. Last but not least is Udo Hwan, who has played various roles, but is mostly known for starring in thrillers that make him appear very reserved. His extremely sharp facial features only add to the idea that he's unapproachable. Netizens believe him to be so handsome to the point that it's scary, but Do Hwan himself doesn't believe that he's all that good looking at all. When it comes to his real life personality, he's not that reserved at all. He shared that once he's out with his friends, he likes to have a good laugh. His friends told him that his character in Tempted is the closest to what he is like in real life. Although he appears to be very charismatic in his dramas, in real life, he very much enjoys joking around. His fans love to laugh at the silly pictures that he posted online. Long story short, he's actually a very unserious person. Do Hwan also shared a bit about his dating style and revealed that although he may look the part, he definitely doesn't play hard to get and is actually very bad at it. He once again expressed that being able to talk and laugh with someone is what's most important to him, which undoubtedly seems to be in line with his goofiness. That was all for today. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.